you didn't prep me for this at all. No. I didn't. I didn't know that this was <laughs> Mission Impossible. Yep. Okay. Starring Topsy Panu. Hopefully, we can interview her again. Swaru R S J. Okay, those are the stars. I, I take it, and then we've got story, screenplay, and direction by Swaroop RSJ, and then uh, Mark K. Robin is who? Oh, the music director. Mark, is okay, Mark gotcha. K. Robin. All right, so there you go. Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at Mission Impossible. I love the title of this movie. I know. I really like it. I'm I mean, wondering if it's a comedy, or if it's an action, or if it's all the things. I wonder if you could get away with this in the States. Because remember when there was that dumb Starbucks, which was like a joke? Anyway, Starbucks shut that down right away. I forgot what the point of that was. Just because you have the word dumb in front of it doesn't make it okay to have that name. All I'm saying is it's very curious to me. I'm like, I wonder if you did this in the States, like, would you be able to get away with that title? Like, if you just spelled something slightly different, can you get away with the same title? Right, but I'm assuming maybe Michonne is a name as opposed to... It's clearly borrowing an idea here. Anyway, <laughs> doesn't matter. We're gonna jump into this. You guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up so that YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. Arrest. Influence. Bail. Oh. He cycled bag all over to be. Wait. Oh, what's he doing? All set. Oh, let's back up a little bit. He cycled bag all over to be. Let's back up some more. Why don't we just start from the beginning? Arrest. Influence. Bail. He cycled bag all over to be. Satish. All set. Kada. We put that guy informer on the chief update to leave. In the bad operation, man, matron, check it out. Wow, here comes the comedy. Mere save che alra, che galu tara. Sare sare ka. Gatti gara, vin padatla. The Avengers laga, mere kuda kapad galra leda. Captain America, Hulk, Iron Man, ilanta fictional characters. Ragupati, Ragava, Rajaram, original. Ray, they are getting the best score. Amma, roj deulla ke denam bit kudna. Ram du, Vinayak du. ఇస్తారంట్రాబైలు చాలా డబ్బులు రా ఏ డబ్బులు కానీ రాజమౌళికి ఇస్తే బాహుబలి పాట త్రీ తీస్తాడు అంత డబ్బులు రా రే అతనేనా దావూద్ ఇబ్రాహీం అతను అక్షయ్ కుమార్ రా దావూద్ని పట్టుకోవడానికి ప్లాన్ ఏంటి ప్లాన్ త్రివిక్రమ్ దావూద్ ఇంటికి దారేది అరే ఇక్కడ బాంబ్ ఇంటికి డడింగ్ లే డడి ఎవరు రా అతను మా బాబాయ్ అన్న పిన్నితో గడబడి ఊరొదలు వచ్చేసాడు ప్రాంక్ వీడియోనా ఎక్కడ పెట్టారు ఆ కెమెరాలు అసలు ఇండియాస్ మోస్ట్ వాంటెడ్ క్రిమినల్ ని పట్టుకోవాలనుకున్న వాళ్ళ ధైర్యం చూడు మనం అనుకున్న ఛానల్స్ అన్నిటికీ ఇన్ఫార్మ్ చేశాను అసలు మనుషులేనా వీళ్ళు డబ్బుల కోసం ఏమైనా చేస్తారా జాగ్రత్త సతీష్ చిన్న పొరపాటుకు కూడా స్పేస్ లేదు Oh. oh, whoa. Hey, Raja! My name is Randy. First, tell me your name. Raghupati, Raghava, Raghupati, Raghava, 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 Khalil, Jilani, Farooq. KGF. One or two. <laughs> <laughs> that was 
was rather delightful. That was very different than yes. I was ex whatever I was expecting in my mind because I see Topsy Panu's name in there. I'm thinking maybe it's like a play on M Mission Impossible and she's going to be like the, the focus, yeah. the center of the show here. I didn't think it was going to be anything about kids just off of the name of the movie. To see this story that's sort of a coming of age tale embedded in this very serious setting. Yeah. It's like wildly unexpected. It starts out as this like goofy funny thing and then goes into a very serious territory and like it just ramps up hard. Yeah, like the the tone was changing but it wasn't weird. Do you know what I mean? It's just kind of like covering a whole bunch of different things because in the beginning you kind of get the sense of okay, well, what is Topsy Panu? She's something to do with the police or something like that, right? She's some... I got kind of confused. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. When she disappeared from the trailer, I'm like, wait, what did, hold on, I forgot. But all I knew was the main, the most important part was these kids. Yes. These kids were trying to like make a name for themselves and they're like, we're gonna catch that guy. This like highly ambitious project that is well beyond the scope of their, their abilities. Yeah. And they get in over their heads. And that's actually a very, very interesting premise for a story. Yeah, totally. Like I was totally buying that. I, I mean, I love the kids and the comedy that ensues with all the stuff that happens with them, with them trying to, figure things out but then there's also the really real scary stuff which is like what they end up going to Bombay all by themselves like yeah. the hell and then they were like actually I don't like this anymore I think I want to go home yeah and nothing like frightening circumstances to humble you right yeah exactly <laughs> and then Topsy Panu has to come in and you know try and save the day but I think it's so cool that she's lending her talents to this she's not the star she's not the star she's putting her name on the marquee so that it, people will watch it exactly she, yeah but she's not the star of the movie. exactly because if, if they didn't have her name on it or if they didn't have a name actor or uh, celebrity yeah, on there yeah it's akin to White Tiger I think yeah kind of like that and yeah. then what I imagine is that if you watch the movie you're going to end up falling in love with the kids more than anything yeah Topsy Panu is a, a Trojan horse yes a Trojan horse for a fun kids movie yeah but also that just reminded me that we need to watch Agent Sai Srinivasa because this is by the same people who created that movie and apparently that movie was super fun cool different unique I'm like well we'd better bump that up on our list of things to watch yeah the, what's fascinating about this though is that because it's based on a true story you get away with the tonal shifts in a way that you wouldn't typically, at least for Americans. Yeah. When we watch something like from Korea, there's like this combination of different tones. We're like, what? I don't... Because in American films, they don't really do that. Right. American films are very much like, <laughs> oh, if it's a comedy, we're doing comedy. Yeah. If it's drama, we're doing drama. Right. I mean, well, Sometimes so, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, a comedy is a, is a drama with jokes, right? It shifted hard because at the beginning, it's almost like Sandlot or Mighty Ducks in just in terms of the tone. Yeah. And then it shifts into this very serious coming of age story about these kids who are just trying to get back home. And I was like, whoa, okay. Like, I didn't see that coming. I thought that this was going to be a completely different thing. I didn't consider the repercussions of them trying to track down this guy. Who's, you know? yeah, he is one of the most just kind of big bad criminals yeah. in India. Have they found him yet? I don't know, but like the reason why I was able to be surprised by the serious stuff that arrives in the trailer is because the music was misguiding me. Yes. It was misdirecting me because I'm like, oh, it's just like hunky dory. It's, like, it's oh, fun. But, but what it's really doing is it's guiding you through their feelings and their perspective. Yeah. And then the music shifts because then that is their feelings and their perspective. It gets, right. it gets scary for them. That's cool. I mean, I like that, you know? There's like two sides to it. These kids are like fun. It's fun to see them go on their journey, but also they're... They're kind of assholes and it's fun <laughs> it's fun to see them get put in their place with reality. I think like I'm always drawn to these types of stories because like I love a good indie movie, like just kind of smaller in feeling. I mean I, I love the big budget explosions, superheroes, like all of that fun stuff. But with this, it just feels like, oh, we're offering you a really different, unique story. I can't really say that I've watched too many films where, you know, the kids decide they want to catch a criminal but it changes tonally where it goes from being oh this is like really cute and fun and into going oh crap this is very very real and very very scary right now because i feel like there are kids movies where they're like trying to capture yeah well a bad guy but it still lives in the realm of kid movie the, the cool thing about it is like they and you recognize their vulnerability right away. Yeah. Because they're just kids. Like, they have no muscle. <laughs> like, they have no... They've got no job. Well, yeah, and they and they think that they can 
make. Well, wait. What is fifty crore? Is that was that the the prize money? It's a lot of money. Is it enough to make a Bahu Bali? Five hundred fifty thousand dollars. No, it's not enough to make Bahu Bali. No, it's no, five hundred fifty four million. Google gets it wrong. Look, let's do this. What USD to uh, let's see, one crore in you is is what? One crore is one hundred thousand rupees. No, what? One hundred million rupees. So the zeros. Ten million. Yeah, the comma, the commas for India is a little different than ours. So one hundred. No, ten no. million rupees. Now we got to do the math again. Ten million rupees to USD. One hundred thirty-one thousand okay. times five hundred. Times fifty. Times fifty. Sorry, that's right. Six point five million dollars. Right. Yeah, six point five million. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, six point five million dollars. Yeah. So you could make Bahubali. Could you? <laughs> like, oh, we need to know. Budget of Bahubali was one point billion. billion. Okay, yeah, INR. no, hell no. I don't know. It's twenty three million dollars in the states. No, it's not. Yeah, hell no. You can't make a Bahubali with that much money. You could make a movie with six point three million dollars, though. You could you make could. this movie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. maybe that's what they did. Maybe they took their prize money, finding Dawood Ibrahim, uh, that's his name, right? And then they made this film. No one's here anymore for this conversation. Let's just end the video. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. If you're still here, let us know. The hashtag's still here. Don't worry, Jabs. <laughs> that's a long hashtag. All right, fine. Hashtag, we are still here with you, Jabby, forever and ever. Thank you so much for making great content. Wow. Is that shorter? Yeah, da I'm gonna shut up now. Hashtag still here, Jabs. That's a, that's a short enough hashtag. He's out.